Well, this is a great view and all, but how are we getting back down? Well, I am inclined to suggest the Duquesne Incline. Built in 1877, Pittsburgh's Duquesne Incline ferries passengers up and down the side of Mount Washington. Although the incline closed in 1962, it reopened in 1963, operated by a nonprofit group of neighborhood residents. So you can see the other one down there, and you know, the idea of an incline is that they each go, you know, back and forth, so they, you know, they counterbalance each other. Yes, that's the word. The gravity pulling on our car is going to help the motor, which is in the top station, lift the other car. And then they'll do it the other way around and go back and forth yeah. forever. Very janky. I'm not sure I like how much it's creaking, but this is great. This is just look down. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Usually they say to don't look down. Yeah, or you can see like the wires on this other on the other one right here, and that's pulling up. And I assume that there are wires, yeah, there are wires coming down from behind us. Oh, and there's a freight train right there. Oh, that is beautiful. Is it like an exit fair gate? Oh. Oh. It definitely bounces a little bit. Oh. Oh. Happy Incline. That's actually from a cartoon. You'll see it at the upper station um, celebrating the return of the Duquesne Incline as a nonprofit after the city shut it down. There's like a little character who's supposed to be right here. It's like Papa Pitt, sort of an Uncle Sam character representing Pittsburgh sort of running up to embrace the incline, which is so happy to be up and running again. Certainly an uplifting story. Uh, uh, oh. This part of the station is really kind of backrooms-esque, as backrooms as you can get with 1870s architecture, because a lot of people come here by car. So if you actually come here, there is a... So there's this footbridge here. Just next to the parking lot down by the river. So most people will park down there and then walk up around uh, these stairs and wait in line on this um, bridge thingy. If it was a warmer day or later in the day, we'd have a line going all the way, like from the base of those stairs, up here, down here, into the station. Lots and lots of people queuing up for the incline. So this is an incline with a parking ride. Yes, it is an incline with a parking ride. So tell me again why it's not pronounced the Duquesne incline. I don't know. French is strange. I don't understand it. So like I was saying, this is kind of the uh, lesser used downstairs of the station back in the day. This is probably how a lot of people would come, um, getting, on, getting off the streetcar. Down here, we have the amazing bus stop for the incline. As you can see, cars are really fast here. It's going quite long and the visibility is not great. Like if you look here, the bus can't really see if you're standing here. So they actually have a uh, special little light that you can, uh, you can press. So it'll go for about two minutes. I've never actually seen it and I have no idea if it's real. But the sign says it's real, and signs always tell the truth. Oh, I love the like the lamp. Oh yeah, it always sways back and forth. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen yet. I have a yogurt in here that I forgot about. We're gonna put it in here on Wednesday and now it's Saturday, so. Okay. Do we need to call the uh, hazmat team? <laughs> so.
so there was a grammatical error in this sign. So Multiple then people have corrected it. Somebody this. corrected it. Somebody, I guess, incorrected it. Then somebody corrected it again and gave a helpful uh, explanation that copies is the subject of as a preposition of uh, uh, the beginning of the phrase. R is the correct verb. So, a little grammar lesson with your incline. Now that are a fun fact. <laughs> that was really cool. Um, you know, just how they've kept it like period accurate, you know, how saying the old style, how you can see all of the inner workings and everything. I, it was really cool. So thank you for bringing me to see Pittsburgh's incline. There's another one that way. There is? Yeah. What do we have here? This is the Monongahela Incline, which is the uh, oldest incline in Pittsburgh. It was the first passenger incline built for the city and the only one that remains in operation by Pittsburgh Regional Transit. The Buchanan Incline, as we may have covered before, is operated by a nonprofit, although it's still part of the fare system. This also actually serves as an essential transit link for the mountain. Because even in today's day of cars and buses, People still use this, not just as a tourist attraction, but as a means of transportation. It was built by one of America's first female civil engineers, Caroline Andrus, along with her father, who was kind of the chief architect. And uh, Caroline was actually married to Samuel Beecher, who built the Duquesne Incline. So, his and hers inclines. Oh. So one of the reasons I like this incline a little bit better than the Duquesne incline is because the cars for this one were built to be incline cars. They were train cars that were just sort of built onto an incline wheelbase. The whole car is sloped. It's purpose so built. This okay. lower section here and then have two upper sections and uh, each one has its own door. That one up there is the handicap accessible car. So. Never mind, the door's open again. Very cool view of downtown when you're up here though. Seriously? <laughs> I've ridden the incline a bunch and this has never happened, so I hope everything's okay. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right, third time's the charm. It's making the noise again. Yeah, it is. Oh, In motion at last. <laughs> Obviously, in Chicago, we don't have hills like these, but this is the first time I've ridden something like this, and I, I think it's a, it's a really cool like, thing, especially for being as old as they are. They're cool. They're cool. They're cool.